What's up, everybody? This is Mike from Revolution Apocalypse here. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be taking a look at a product that was sent to us a little while back by Raw Dog Tactical Holsters. It's an inside the waistband holster, and I have to say I'm really impressed with it. We're going to take a uh, up close look at it, the fit, the finish, kind of look at it, go over it on the side of my hip, uh, get a, just you know an up close look at it, and then in the next video we're going to do a little later on is going to be a uh, range test where we're actually going to take it out to the range and test it out. Uh, with me and another person and just kind of see how it feels at the range, how it feels at home. Just kind of give you an all-around feel on, on how the holster feels as a whole. So we're going to take a look at it on the Glock 17. So why don't we go ahead, dive down, and take a closer look at the holster. Alright guys, so this here is the Raw Dog Tactical Holster. Um, as you can see, it's fitted with the Glock 17 inside here, the fourth generation. Um, this is the um, the blue finish here that, that they do. Um, as you can see, it's got a, the belt clip for the inside the waistband. Um, let's take it, take it out of the holster here a little bit. So, let me get a little up close for you guys. So, as you can see here, um, really nice inside the waistband. English leather backing. Uh, the rivets are real smooth, so you don't even feel them when they're on your body, which is kind of nice because sometimes the inside the waistband holsters can feel a little um, pinchy to the body, but this one here doesn't. Um, as you can see, it's got the blue, nice rivets here. It's got the adjustable clip here that you can adjust the uh, canter on it a little bit, so you can you know wear it however you want to wear it on the on the uh, on your belt. Um, I'm really impressed with this holster. It fits really nice on your hip, and in a minute I'm going to go ahead and put it on, and you guys can see how it fits on the uh, hip inside the waistband. But as you can see, the finish on the on the uh, or the fit is actually right out of the box is a really strong fit, and um, it is adjustable. You can adjust it by these retention um, screws here. But um, right out of the box, it came with a really good fit. I mean, that gun's not coming out, um, which really, you know, is nice. But if you wanted a little looser, you could always just uh, loosen these two screws and that adjust it. And if you want to adjust it on the belt, you can do it there as well by loosening these two screws. But the fit on the gun is actually really nice, as you can see. Uh, let's see if I can get a... You see it slides right in, in there. It doesn't affect your sights at all, so you don't have to worry about your sights going out of line or anything like that. Um... It fits really good in the holster. I'm really impressed with that. As you can see on the Glock 17, it fits really good. Really easy to pull. Like I said, I haven't adjusted this at all. I haven't felt the need to. But um, that blue looks really sweet. And they come in six different colors. And it's going to be available for a lot of more guns uh, coming up. If you go to their website, you can see, which the website link will be in the description. You can see for all the different guns um, that are available for it so far. So let's go ahead and put it on the hip and see how it looks. All right, guys, so I have the gun on here now. As you can see, it's on inside the waistband. Um, you can position it, you know, wherever you feel comfortable on, on your body here. I just have it on the front of my my body here because it's a you know really easy draw for me to get to. Um, as you can see, the draw on it's really nice. The fit on it's really good. It's snug. Um, you don't even really realize that you have it on while you're wearing it. It actually feels really good. And like I said, the draw is really smooth. Um, you can position it however you like it, wherever you like it, and it's really concealable once it's, you know, positioned where, where you want it. The concealment is actually pretty good. Um, so I'm, uh, really impressed with it, and, um, uh, as you guys can see, the concealment of it is really nice and it fits good. And like I said, you can position it wherever you want on your belt clip, where, or wherever you feel, you know, on your body is actually where you, where you want to put the gun. Um. But as far as carryable, it's really carryable. Like, um, it's one of the comfortables inside the waistband holsters that I found. Um, I tend to wear it a little kind of up front here because it just it kind of hides the gun a little bit more. But if you've got a bigger coat, um, you can pretty much put it on your side. And even though the gun sticks out a little bit, you can actually conceal it, a, a, you know, as much as you need. But it is very concealable and the gun is very accessible. So um, let's go ahead and get our final thoughts on it. All right, guys, so what I've came to conclude here so far is that for 40 bucks, you're not going to beat the Raw Dog Tactical Holster. You're going to get a high-quality Kydex holster that fits the gun really ni nice and is really well designed and feels good on your body. Um, really impressed with it. I can't wait to uh, wear it some more. I've worn it a little bit here, but I'm actually going to do some more tests on it and uh, look for an upcoming video on um, another uh, test on the Raw Dog Tactical Holster's uh, inside the waistband carry holster for 40 bucks you can't go wrong i'm telling you guys good holster high quality value go check them out the link will be in the in the description thanks guys again for watching and uh we'll catch you again next time.